happy uh, today is happy Monday and yeah hopefully I could get this video up tomorrow but I honestly have been thank you <laughs> we have Jackson okay He's uh, feeding the dogs, uh, dude. And today, or even yesterday, I woke up with this ear plugged. I can't really hear. And I, um, ugh, yeah. But anywho, I'm so glad to be tuning in with you guys and just chit-chatting a little bit. But I was, as I was reading this word, uh, it just, I needed it. And I just felt like I needed to share because I know that, um, following God it's not easy it's not easy and uh, I just you know I knew that I haven't been I haven't been feeling my best I haven't been um, even though I'm doing so good with work it's been going so good like I just knew I wasn't doing good mentally physically spiritually like I think right now I was like so caught up with like moving because in my last blog I'm not sure if I said I told yes I did I told you guys that I was moving so I was like so caught up with moving so caught up with my like I know I haven't talked about this but I do have a new job um, I'm so busy with uh, you know my side of um, my business that I kind of like just I kind of got distant from God, you know, I stopped reading the word. I stopped taking care of myself. I was eating so bad, you guys, for the last month. I hurt myself, you know, after a um, little background, I started getting vertigo and I kind of like stopped taking care of myself. I'm like, okay, I'm going to slow down on the workout. Um, so I stopped working out. I hurt my gr growing, growing groan i think that's what it's called like next to your leg by running and i don't even know that's how you say it. i'm gonna put something right here so you guys can know what it is because i think i'm pronouncing it wrong but i heard it and it's been hurting so bad so i like slowed down on the working out but then i started eating really bad and that's been going on for over a month now like about six like yeah a little bit over a month i'm like slowly you guys like i knew that spiritually and mentally it just everything goes together like when you're not feeding yourself the right foods um it, it kind of like hits you you know and that's exactly what was happening to me i i kind of i already knew that and i was reading the word here and there but not every single day and and I kind of felt it. I felt my spiritual life like kind of just falling. I started feeling really like I wasn't moving. My business is going good, but just me, my heart, my soul, my spirit wasn't sitting well, you know? So today, like yesterday, I was telling my husband, like, I just don't feel good. Like, I just don't feel myself and I know what I need to do and for a few weeks already for a couple weeks I already knew that what I have to do but it's so hard getting back into that routine of just being healthy um, physically mentally spiritually like it's like the devil tries to keep you down and that's why a lot of us stay don't ever budge and don't ever succeed and don't ever progress because our mind we know like we get convicted and we still don't do any changes so yesterday um he's like yeah we need to start working out we need to you know read the word and he actually ended up getting up early and i didn't but then you know i'm like no i need to get up and i need to just come outside and and read the word and then and so that's why i'm here <laughs> i know that was a lot of like explanation but I had to be done because I know that um, most of us go through really hard times and it's hard to get back into the routine of things and it's so hard to, you know, once you like 
do, you know start doing things without walking with 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 god it's so hard to, to jump back into it you know so i'm here um just having a little combo with you guys and wanted to share this little scripture with you guys that i read um so it says today's message was traveling light and the verse is hebrews 12 1 but it starts and honestly i keep for all my newbies that are like just starting or just like me you know that need a little bit of guidance you guys this our daily bread is the best thing that you could honestly like get your hands on i'm so glad my mother-in-law got me into this because it reads a bible verse and then it just gives you a little story mm -hmm. so your head could get a wrap could get wrapped around what the meaning of the verse is if you just need a little bit of like inspo and just a little bit of explanation it's the best way to get your morning going and i've been loving this and i definitely recommend you getting your hands on it too it's free um honestly all you have to do is go to ourdailybread.org and request a copy and it's open to any donations which i think it's very awesome um but yeah this is it but i'm gonna go into the message okay really really quick so it says um <sighs> traveling light a man named james uh, took an adventurous 1250 mile journey down the west coast of the u.s biking from seattle washington to san diego california a friend of mine met the ambitious biker near near the cliffs of big sur 930 miles from his starting point after learning that someone had recently stolen James' camping gear, my friend offered his blanket and sweater, but James refused. He said, he said that as he traveled south into the warmer climate, he needed to begin shedding items, and the closer he got to his destination, the more tired he became, so he needed to reduce the weight he was carrying. I think it's so cool that you know he didn't like see see it as a bad thing he's like no I have to be you know the further I get the warmer climate's gonna get uh, oh well they sold it oh well that's actually a good thing that's a positive thing I need I don't need it anyway you know I needed to get rid of that anyway so I, I think that's such a powerful mentality to instead of getting mad that they sold his belongings that he needed he's like no God, God knew what he was doing. He, I had to get rid of those items anyway. So, And that's how sometimes we have to look at life. When something bad happens or something happens, instead of seeing the negative, we always have to see the positive because God knows what he's doing. It's just we need to believe him. We need to like trust in him that whatever's happening to us is it's for a bigger purpose. So I'm going to keep on going. James' realization was smart. It's a reflection of what the writer of Hebrews is saying too. As we continue our journey in life, we need to throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Verse 12, 1. We need to travel light to press on. As believers in Jesus, running this race requires perseverance. And one of the ways to ensure we keep going is to be free of the weight of unforgiveness, sorry, pettiness, and other sins that will hinder us. And you know what's funny, you guys? Oh, God is so good. This morning when I got up and I started praying and I just sat out here, I was like, God, please just open my mind remove everything that I've been feeling lately, remove all the sadness, remove all the 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 bitterness that I've been feeling, remove all the all the negativity, you know, all the unforgiveness, remove anything that I have been feeling lately. Please remove it from me. Like I don't want none of that. And and I knew that I've been feeling all these feelings. I've been having all these like feelings. 
I've been getting irritated so easy. I've been feeling like I don't know. I just been feeling like like I said I've been hit I've been having all these negative thoughts and I knew that when I read this I'm like thank you. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for opening my heart. Thank you for talking to me. Um and it was just a little reminder that when you you talk to God and you ask him from like the bottom of your heart, he is definitely going to talk to you. So I'm going to go on. Um, without Jesus, without Jesus' help, we can't travel light and run the, the race well. I'm going to say it one more time. Without Jesus, Jesus' help, we can't travel light and run this race. May we look to the pioneer and perfecter of faith so that we won't grow weary and lose heart. And then it's, it's nice because it gives you, what do you sense is weighing you down on your life journey? And that's where, you know, I love it because I love to journal and I love to like reflect on things that I'm like, that are missing, you know? So what do you sense is weighing you down on your life journey? How might you persevere and be free of the weight that entangles? And then it says, let's, it says a little prayer. It says, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the rays that you've set, set before me. Please give me. Please give me wisdom and discernment to steer clear of the sin that ties to entang that tries to entangle me and prevent me from running well. Amen, Lord. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for just opening my mind, opening my heart, and listening to to what I need right now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You're so great. You're so amazing. And running this race with running this race without you is never gonna be the way. Just allowing the everyday life to come between us, Lord, is is not the way. And I already know, but sometimes we think that our way is the best way and that's never it lord thank you for talking to me this morning lord this is what i needed in the name of jesus amen oh sorry i had the camera all check up but yeah that's something i wanted to share you guys because honestly walking you know i I got caught up with, you know, just the moving, the job, my new job. I'm be, I'm so busy trying to learn the ins and ins and outs of my new job and everything. It's so much, you know, and trying to stay afloat with my own business and trying to promote and trying to like just get it going. It's, you know, it's so much. And still trying to be a wife, still trying to be a daughter, still trying to be, you know, a mom. It's like something so overwhelming. And to all my Estes out there that are trying to run a business, you know, like, just get closer to God and he's going to be able to, like, walk us through this. Because, like, this message says, without Jesus, we can't travel, like, and run this race well and it's, it's so true i know i already knew that but i kept on going and i just i'm so glad that i snapped out of it and i'm like no like i need to get back into the word i need to get back into just working out after this i'm gonna work out just a little bit to get myself you know going and i know once i start i'm not gonna stop but it's it's normal we're human and we're gonna you know we're gonna stumble i hope you guys were able to take something out of this just like i did um god is so good and he will never let you fall you just have to remember to pick yourself up it's not easy but just remember that prayer is so powerful reading his word is so powerful and without him we could only go so far like yes we could keep on going because i could have kept on going but I would have kept on going with bitterness, with unforgiveness, with all these different feelings that I, I've been having these last few, um, last few weeks. Um, I'm gonna go. I, you know, I told you guys I was um, 
it's moving and I'm gonna show you guys just something so we ended up moving and we were so blessed you guys to be in to move in into such a beautiful home and the devil's such a liar he was trying to deceive me and like tell me no you miss your old house which I do I miss my old house but let me show you guys There's a pool over there. The palm trees are just right there. It's so beautiful right now in the morning when you when you walk out, the wind is just blowing and it sounds so beautiful. <laughs> Let me wait. And this whole time, I like my heart. Like I feel like like you know, like I said, the devil's such a freaking liar. <laughs> Instead of being grateful for being here, I just felt so sad. Why? Please tell me why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling like sad? Why am I feeling uncomfortable? Why am I not feeling myself? <laughs> when it's so beautiful, instead of like, and don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful to be blessed to be able to be in this house. But you know, something inside of me was just not feeling I wasn't feeling myself and I was feeling like I didn't belong here when I do belong here this is what God blessed me with and I'm so thankful that I get the opportunity to like be here you know this is such a beautiful home it's and the devil kept on telling me like no you don't deserve this and that's not true but um, sorry, I'm just like crying, but I'm like, I just wanted to share this because sometimes the devil is a liar. And when you don't walk with Jesus and you just allow anything to come between both of you, that relationship that you should have with God, like it's so easy for the devil to deceive you and to put all these bad thoughts in your head to just make you feel like you're not worthy of where you're at and um it's not true i'm worth it being here i'm worthy of what god has blessed me and i am going to take advantage of his blessings and just admire this being out here every single morning until god decides that it's time for me to go redirect my journey you know and and be grateful for where i am right now so yeah i just wanted to share this because sometimes um you know as a new sd um you know i hate social media and i don't know why i get so caught up and i needed this because as a new also solo esthetician um sometimes it's so easy for me to go into social media and start comparing myself with other girls that are being so successful and i'm like why can't i be that you know but i am when i sit back and i think about it i'm like janita like you're doing so good god keeps blessing you and um what else do you want you know like you can't you can't be comparing yourself with all these other estheticians that have been on the business for years you know it's like you just started and you're doing so good and you know just keep on improving your craft and you know your books will be filled and your clients will keep on returning and um so for all my little Estes, my solo Estes, keep on pushing and don't let the devil deceive you. Um, get closer to God, read his word, because without him, we could only go so far. That is all I wanted to share, you guys. I just wanted to share um, a little bit of what I've been going through. So hopefully you get a little bit out of it as well. And to all my solo Estes, keep on pushing. You're amazing. And thank you so much for staying to the end and I will see you on my next video sending you blessings sending you good vibes and just keep on pushing okay you got this all right peace see you guys on my next video bye